fifth season in the Premier League. Are you getting the same buzz the week before it starts as you did back in 2017? Does it still give you that yeah. tingle? 100%, yeah. It's a, yeah, you, it's a long summer and you get your rest and then you just, once you get back in first day pre-season, you want to get the games going again. And yeah, it's been a good pre-season. Boys have worked hard and we're, we're ready to go. So yeah, can't wait for the first game of the season. You mentioned the sort of summer break. How long is it for, for a player like you after you've had a holiday before you think I want to stop I want to get back to work again is it a week two weeks a month it's probably two days with the kids probably <laughs> nah yeah you, you go away you enjoy your holidays and yeah once you're, once you're back in back in this country you, you just want to crack on again and, and get it going again because it's, it's what you love and it's what you enjoy doing do you think the Premier League is harder now than it was when Brighton joined it in 2017 it's a tough question you know uh, I'd say no. Nah, I'd say it's probably similar to obviously there's, there was good players then and there's good players now so yeah you're playing against top teams every week and teams that are hard to beat every week so yeah it's just as difficult now than it was um, the first season we're in I think we've improved a lot since then and I think it showed last year the performances we were putting in obviously the next steps getting the results and getting high up the table where we want to be and getting it more, more safe and not worrying about relegation all the time in a lot of sports, the relationship between the captain and the coach, I'm thinking of cricket and one or two others, is very important. I'm just thinking about your relationship with Graham Potter. I mean, just on a day-to-day -day basis, how often do you talk as, as captain and coach about the players and the club and what's happening? Yeah, um, obviously on the training field, we have little little chats now and again, and then I'll probably go up into his office once a week, once every two weeks, just to, to have a recap and see if he's got any... I've got something from the boys that needs addressing or he wants to know anything that we we just go up and have a chat yeah we've got a good relationship and he's he's easy to work with you like the shop steward then yeah basically yeah yeah no he's easy to work with and yeah he makes you makes you feel comfortable so yeah he's a he's a top manager and very enjoyable one to work with we've had just over a year with virtually no fans at nearly all of the games when we get stadiums back full is that going to take some getting used to as a player again because it's um, been a while, isn't it, since yeah. we've had a full Amex? Yeah, and I didn't experience the, the City game where the fans were back, so yeah, I haven't seen fans in a long, long time. And yes, it's probably, I think we got used to no fans in the end, that we did it for a long time, so we had to get used to the no atmosphere and making ourselves get up to the games at times. And when it, things got hard, you had to really dig deep. And fans do, fans do help you uh, when it's going well or when it's not going so well, they're there. You can hear the noise that's coming from and it gives you a boost. So yeah, it's going to be enjoyable to have them back. And yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how, how the fans are and how we deal with having them back, I suppose. And, and away from home when there weren't any fans, places like Anfield, a completely different experience. But I guess someone like you, I don't know, when you go to a full Anfield or a full Old Trafford, that's a hell of a lot of a, a hell of a better challenge for a player, isn't it? Yeah, it's a better challenge. But I think see if it, once a game gets going, you, you're playing yeah. football at the end of the day. Um, you're just doing your job and doing what you enjoy, so you don't really take too much notice. Obviously, you can hear the hear the noise, but you're not listening to to what they're saying at times. So yeah, you're just doing the job. But, but it's always nice to have have that atmosphere behind behind the games. What's it going to be like that Watford game, leading the team out in front of a full Amex again? Yeah, it's going to be it's been a good day. Um, I'm absolutely proud every time I I put the armband on and lead the boys out, but. It's been different walking out to, to no claps and you probably get a few 20 claps in the in the crowd from the stewards and the backroom staff but yeah walking out back to the the full stadium the noise is going to be unbelievable and it's going to be just as proud as proud as ever to to lead the boys out what do you think needs to be done donkey this season to you know, 41 points last year 16th we probably deserve to be a lot higher in the table what 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 do we need to do to take that next step to get in that perhaps in the top half i think if we perform as well as we did last year, it's just learning to convert those performances into results and points. Um, obviously, last year, you look at everyone from the outside saying, oh, they should be higher than they are, but we weren't for a reason. Obviously, you don't always get what you deserve in football, and that's the hard thing about it. So we've got to learn how to convert good performances into into wins and, and when we're losing, to, into draws. So. Yeah, that's going to be the, the tough ask for us this year and make sure we've got to do it as quick as we can and, and learn that.
just ask Webby, he's, you know, he's 26 now, sort of regards himself as a senior player, and you're, you're similar. I mean, what, more senior than More senior. <laughs> what do you think about in terms of your own performances that you can improve on to get even better? Um, yeah, I think there's not a perfect, well, there's probably two perfect players in the world, that's Ronaldo and Messi in there. And yeah, we, everyone can improve every day. And um, I would say my game's improved a lot since this manager's come in. I think my style of play suits the way he wants to play. So yeah, I'm, I'm improving, improving all the time. And I think it's just as much as you can stay consistent. And that's the thing I pride myself on is being consistent throughout the whole season. And if you can do that, then that's all we can ask.